make your point on the news hour join arnab every night on the news hour with your question ask your question and join the debate the mix back it can't be wholly satisfactory or not uh, also not wholly unsatisfactory i mean we uh, we place all the facts before the court whatever we got uh, on the basis of investigation on on that basis we cited so many years accused and the court has refused to buy our story, story in respect of all the accused they they uh, believed us partly and partly they did not uh, believe it. and uh, so it's, uh, it's absolutely that is that shows the metal of the indian judiciary they they, they just want you as the investigating officer to face all facts and it is for them to make a decision and how would you see this fact that the court has uh, rejected outrightly uh, any element of conspiracy yeah i don't look at it i'll let you although we went on a charge under 120b uh, uh, possibly they felt that there is not enough i mean normally the ingredients of a conspiracy is a meeting of mind or a meet, meeting uh, not necessarily in person uh, only a meeting in mind not a person, uh, regular meeting face to face meeting several elements go into the uh, offense of conspiracy possibly they felt that there wasn't the, all all these components or not many of these components of a conspiracy were present so if i read i am i am told the judge has come to this reasoning that it was not a conspiracy so i'm sure he has spelled out reasons why he didn't buy this theory of conspiracy till i see it i mean, I, I don't feel agree because it's it's, uh, it's his prerogative Uh, that's why we have a strong judiciary they don't have to agree they should not actually agree with whatever we say we in our zealousness or the zealousness we place it we did did an honest job and if he does not uh, we bow down to the judiciary and what would be the process like for would you be yeah, we, we, we we'll have to get we we'll have to get the order have a look at it wherever we feel the judge uh, uh, as erred or uh, we are not convinced of the rationale adopted by the judge then we will uh, examine it in house then remit it to uh, good legal authority or prosecutors <coughs> and then decide um, whether uh, an appeal is uh, appeal is uh, possible whether appeal is justified then in, uh, you must remember ultimately the appeal the power to appeal rests with the state government we can only write to the state government the state government also should be convinced that there is a case for appeal right. under the crpc not many understand your viewers should understand it is not within our competence we may recommend as an investigating agency we may recommend to the state government that here is a case in which they should go and appeal from here to the high court then it is the state government's application in mind that that may take counts finally sir uh, you have investigated nine cases one that means yet to come seven of them have seen conviction yes other uh, non sit cases also in gujarat have seen conviction okay uh how do you see this trend that in communal bias convictions are coming this will not be the case yeah i'll i'll tell you i mean i'm not trying to boast of my achievement wherever i go I, uh, all over the country uh speak to colleagues lawyers and others they are they are surprised pleasantly surprised astounded with the fact that in, in case of uh, communal bias we have never to secure so many convictions normally all these cases end in a fiasco the judge feels that is no such uh, element for conviction so this is i think we have done a reasonably good job an unbiased job and uh, i to that extent i am very happy i have a wonderful team that helped me so that is why this is